medical. Mm -hmm. Aphasia is a language impairment following an injury to the brain, such as a stroke. Chrysler, um, um, and simile. Oh, um, reading and um, um, memorizing words and um, 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 it all makes a difference. We had a team of speech pathologists and graduate students. One month we discussed how intensive therapy programs and camps can actually be beneficial for individuals that have chronic aphasia. When I have uh, my stroke, I didn't have anything except learn how to talk. I have to say sentence now. Learn how to say sentence. I didn't, I didn't know anybody. I was, I was afraid and I was not, I, I didn't know if I was gonna talk to anybody. But right away, the first, the first guy I met, he came up to me and, and he just, he just chatted. And so that opened up the door to talk to everybody. With aphasia, there is this misconception in the medical community that once you get to a year after your stroke, you stop making gains. And we know that that's not true. It is a summer intensive, and that's exactly what it is. It's an intense two-week program. The students and the master clinicians worked to establish a schedule that involved individual therapy sessions, small group sessions, dyads between two people, and some large group discussions. Bob, did you find Maple Street? Yeah. Good work. For us students, particularly myself, experiences like this, where we're having three back-to-back -back sessions a day, really enhancing my skills as a clinician, both personal interaction as well as my clinical writing skills, my interaction with my master clinicians. You're going in there with a bunch of other people who also have aphasia, and they, they have the same challenges that you do. They're, we're all here to help you out, and, and you're here to help me out, and we become friends. We become friends, and that's the important part. It is overwhelming with just how the group has come together, with the types of things that are just coming out of people's mouths. Uh, a lot of our clinicians are just saying it's really been heartwarming, and we kind of get those tingles of this is why we love what we do, right? Because the students are learning, and they're making relationships with these people and figuring out we can have an impact as speech pathologists in a lot of different ways and aphasia is just one of those areas. 